This is my ant colony. And in the next 30 days, I'm gonna show you what they are doing. First, I bought them in a tube. Then, queen laid a X. Then, they were attacking food for queen. I even add a predator. And a... To understand all this, we need to go back to day one. When my colony was in this tube. They may be small, but they are already extremely powerful. To demonstrate how powerful they are, I'm going to add this real alive worm. As soon predator comes in, they will start attack him. Some ants are biting the centipede, but some ants are putting stingers in her skin to paralyze her until she dies and they can uh, eat her. But this centipede also have venom, which can kill these ants. When they kill this centipede, they will not eat her, but they will give it to the queen ants. After 30 seconds, she is totally paralyzed. Now, they have only one task to do more. They need to bring it to the queen. Day 3. The queen ate the vault centipede. But the queen didn't eat the old centipede. She gave a little piece of centipede to the ant workers. This colony was too big and they were trying to break uh, from this little tube. I needed a bigger place to put them in. They needed a new home, so I bought them a big terrarium. This is gonna be their new home. For build, I first put a sand. Because I want this enclosure to look like mini desert. I'm gonna finally add some rocks. Then I put one stick. And inside I put some cacti. The reason why I put cactus in my ant enclosure is because I want it to, more, to look more realistic for a desert terrarium. And now it look like a real desert. When everything was ready, I had only one thing to do. I needed to tr transfer ants from this tube to this desert terrarium. I made a hole on the top of the this tube and put a straw. I carefully put it in the terrarium and I was waiting to ants to come out in the new home. Slowly coming out and I was waiting for them. And here one goes out. First time in his life. And he's out. And there comes another one. Who is following him. They need to find cool place for their queen. It was a feed time and I put them a little bit of the fish flesh. One ant came too far from the queen's distance and there was a dead hole. There was a baby male wolf spider waiting for ants to come and he will eat them. This ant came to this hole and this was the, his worst decision of his life. He was bitten by a wolf spider. He was fighting for his life but one bite and he was totally paralyzed. The wolf spider decided to go for him and he was eaten alive. Now, when they are inside, they need to avoid a deadly predators or they will die like the last ant. This colony is slowly building a food base because they need it if it's gonna happen to be winter. 
Guys, we finally got the queen ant. We gonna put it in this desert terrarium with other ants. And this is she going into terrarium. Okay, guys, the queen is coming. The queen is coming. Okay, okay. She's walking where she can exit. Ants need to start collecting food for her because she will soon lay her uh, eggs. At day 10, she laid and ate eggs. Her young is going about to hatch, but I need uh, a life food for uh, mini ant workers who is going to hatch. And I need a one predator. I need a uh, box that cannot fly because ants can easily catch that animals and bring it uh, to the queen because she now needs to be around their eggs because every time something can eat them. Here I have millipede and now I'm gonna put her around the queen's eggs and let's see if ants gonna attack her. Because they're gonna think that she's trying to eat their eggs. And one more dangerous thing. If ants or ant queen touches this plant, they can die because it's so poisonous. Because of these spikes on it. I saw one ant touching this plant. And a half an hour he was dead. It's day 20 and it's time to add a new predator. But before, where is the centipede? Let's see. Oh, the ant was eating her behind this rock. And yes, he's dead and now he's mute to a queen ant. But they are so strong and they are killing everything in their path. I need to control them. I'm gonna put here a new predator. Here inside lives one of the biggest jumping spiders. And I'm as expecting him to be very aggressive and kill the most of the ants. And here he is. Now we're gonna put him in this enclosure. Look, he's even trying to escape from his tank. This is him from the closer walk. He have a cross on its back. And now we are adding him in. Okay, he's in. And now, real fun begins. He needs to hunt. And ants need to protect their eyes. Or he will eat them. They are lucky for now because he's not hungry. He's finding a place to sleep. But something went wrong. The sandstorm is coming. And they need to find place to hide. They are running and trying to hide. But storm is too strong and it destroys everything. Somehow they survive. But three ants were blown away and they are now buried alive in the sand. It was the day 30 and they all almost died. It was time to rain. And day 30 has passed and dry season begins and this story ends here. This is all of this video guys. If you like it, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment and share to your friends. And if this video gets 100 likes, I'm gonna make sim simulating ant colony for 100 days.